Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another Ruin Factory Four special Switch exclusive content episode. And for today, I'm going to share another episode. Well, last time Milky asked which characters another episode you would want to see next. And as you know, Milky always reads my comments. And dun dun dun. Today is Clorica, cause I got see a suggestion in the comment that we do Clorica next, and that sounds great. I. I personally love Korika and her little clumsy and always sleepy personality, so let's do it! And let me know which character do you guys want to see next, or if you would like to go back to our main story, which I can do too. So let's get started! Dun dun dun! And Clorica's another episode is the being with my family. Oh, that's so sweet! I wonder who's her family? Based on our main storyline, I haven't seen any of her family yet. Oh, it must be Clorica with us and the, our son? That's so surprising! I didn't know. I guess this story happens after our main character already get married with Clorica. Now, Milky needs to get into the Clorica mode. Darling, please wait for me. Tomorrow, everybody is having a rest day. How about let's go as a family and go picnic together? He smiled and told me that. I love his smile. Aww. He even considered that tomorrow is a holiday. My husband is so great. But after that, I immediately come up with a family plan. One thing that I'm pretty good at is organizing things or planning trips. And the uh, people usually compliment me saying I'm so awesome, but I don't feel realistic about it. It happens ever since I was young. Whenever I need to organize something, I always find it really easy to put places, and I don't know why. It seems like I have a talent for it. I always know the place to put things. As long as I follow my instinct, the chores will be automatically finished, and that's my talent. Then for tomorrow, let's go to the river, then climb the mountain, and let's eat the food and come home. Do you like this plan? Hmm, it sounds great. The children must be really happy. Ah. All oh, right, I forgot. Ever since I started living with my husband, we also had a super cute child. Even though the child is still super small, but is as cute as my husband. After I take care of our child to go to sleep, I want to double check our tomorrow's plan again. Don't need to force yourself too much. Even though my husband told me that I don't need to work too hard, but I'm not, because I want to make sure that both him and our child can have a great time tomorrow. And it's finally the morning for family picnic. Even though we have a river and a mountain in our plan, but we still need to take care of our children, so we only need to walk to places that's near to the entrance. So they could have a relaxing and enjoyable trip. We first went to the river, but it's so dangerous to go too close. So we're just going to get some rest by the riverside, looking at the moving river. My beloved child is having fun, and my husband is watching my child playing. It's such a nice decision to come here. As long as they feel happy, I feel like all my hard work is worth it. With a super happy mood, I double checked our plan. Okay,、uh, we already spent a decent amount of time at the river. Let's start moving on to the mountain. On our way to the mountain, the cloud suddenly becomes thicker. Oh no! I'm so silly. I forgot to check the weather for today. In order to not ruin our family's memory, I start walking faster onto the top of the mountain. When it's almost at the top, there is a small resting area. When we pass this resting area, it already started raining a little bit. Unfortunately, our family, all we can do is rest into this、uh, resting area. Sorry for today's weather. I totally forgot to check. This time, he told me. He was the one who suggested the picnic, so I don't need to worry about it. No, that's not true. If I just did my confirmation, when we are both fighting to say whose fault it is, the rain become huger. That seems like a rainstorm. It might stop later today, but we won't be able to go to the top of the mountain. After I say that, my husband smiled and holded my hand, and the, the child who already fell asleep. What happened? 
Hmm? He said that the child who was so tired and fell asleep looks like me. After that, he also followed the child and started laying down. How about you also lay down and have some rest? It'll be a pretty fun experience if we sleep together outside as a family. While he was saying that, he started closing his eye. Oh, what a great memory! And here's the picture of our Clorica family sleeping together. Since our trip didn't go as planned, I guess I have to do what you suggested. Maybe it's because we have we haven't had a family trip for a long time, and I felt too excited. I did what my husband suggested, and we just laid down together. At this time, my husband said thank you to me in a very low voice, and I told him I didn't do anything. He said I come up with the plan for today, and he troubled me a lot during daily lives. But I'm the one who always causes trouble. After that, we chat a lot. We talk about how we fall in love together, says well, volcanoing, and a lot of things. After that, we talk about a lot of things that we usually don't say. Maybe because I was able to talk about all the things that was on my mind, I become sleepier and sleepier. I want to chat more, but maybe because I was working super late yesterday to double check our plan, I become really, really sleepy. And who? <gasps> Clorica falls to sleep. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny! I love how their story ends up <laughs> with Clorica falling asleep. And here's Clorica waking up, and she said, "Sorry, I fall asleep again." When I woke up, the rain's already stopped, and my husband is playing with my child. Hmm. Good morning. Good morning. My husband stopped playing with the child, and he slowly said, "Today, please raise your hand if you had a lot of fun." And my child raised his hand, and he said, "Me." Ah. You said we should live our life with our own pace, and you had a lot of fun today. After he saying that, I feel like all my hard work for preparing today's trip is all worth it. I didn't know thinking about how to make other people happy is such a heavy thing. Thank you for telling me that, even though I failed, it's still something that's happy, and it could turn into a great memory. After I reply him with a smile, I fall back to sleep again. Who, Clorica? Who, who? <laughs> I don't know how to do the sleep sound, but Clorica at the end falls asleep again. And that's the our story. I love it. Clorica is just so funny, and I love how. She has this ability to sleep everywhere. I just can't believe that in this story, she's already married and they have a child. Well, I definitely enjoy watching Clorica's another episode story and sharing them with you. And I hope you're enjoying it too. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And let me know what other character you are interested in, or you want to go back to the Let's Play. Well, thank you guys so so much for watching, and special thanks for my awesome Patreon donors. You guys are the best. And as always, I will see you guys next time.